Hello and welcome to Cancer Research Simplified. My name is Dr. Aigun Shahin and thank you for joining us today. Today we are going to talk about non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Before we go into deeper into the details of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, let's talk about lymphoma in general. Lymphoma is a type of blood cancer. It occurs when one single cells of either B or T lymphocytes, which are both white blood cells that forms a part of our immune system, grow uncontrolled and eventually form a tumor. It can occur in lymph nodes, spleen, bone marrow or other tissues. There are two types of lymphomas. One is Hodgkin's lymphoma or Hodgkin's disease and the other one is non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. We are focusing today on non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, NHL. NHL is a lymphoid cancer that is not Hodgkin's lymphoma. We have talked about Hodgkin's lymphoma in great detail in our Hodgkin's lymphoma episode. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma occurs in 23.9 per 100,000 men and 16.4 per 100,000 women. And this includes all races. It may occur at any age, but usually the median age is 66. There are several types of non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. Let me tell you a little bit about them. Here are some of the details. ALL, acute lymphocytic leukemia, B-cell lymphoma, Burkitt lymphoma, diffuse cell lymphoma, follicular lymphoma, immunoblastic large cell lymphoma, lymphoblastic lymphoma, mantle cell lymphoma, mycosis fungoesis, post-transplantation lymphoproliferative disorder, small non-cleaved cell lymphoma, T-cell lymphoma. 60% of all lymphomas are non-Hodgkin's lymphomas, of which 55% are diffuse and 45% are nodular. Let's give you a little bit more detail about some of these non-Hodgkin's lymphoma types. For example, mycosis fungoides. We are actually have recently received a question about this type of cancer from uh, a family member of a cancer patient. So mycosis fungoides is the most common type of cutaneous T-cell lymphoma, which affects the skin. It is also known as Alibert Bazin syndrome or granuloma fungoides. Burkitt's lymphoma is an aggressive type of lymphoma that mostly affects children and young adults. It is associated with Epstein-Barr virus and is most common in Central Africa. Follicular lymphoma comprises 50% of all non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. Lymphoblastic lymphoma is most common in children and if untreated, it is highly aggressive. Diffuse large B-cell lymphoma is a B-cell lymphoma type, which is one of the most common type of non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. It comprises 30 to 40% of all non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. It occurs in children and adults. Diffuse lymphomas are often more aggressive than follicular lymphomas. Let's talk about non-Hodgkin's lymphoma's stages. Stage 1. Cancer is in one lymph node area or in only one extranodal, which means outside of the node, region or organ. At stage 2, cancer is in two or more lymph node areas on the same side of the diaphragm or cancer is on only one extranodal region or organ and in surrounding lymph nodes. Other lymph node areas on the same side of the diaphragm may also be involved. At stage 3, cancer is in lymphoid tissues on both sides of the diaphragm and may have spread to an area or organ near lymphoid regions and or to spleen. At stage 4, 
cancer has spread to extra nodal organ on organs on both sides of the diaphragm or cancer has spread to only one extra nodal organ but lymph nodes distant from that organ are involved. Let's talk about treatment types for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Chemotherapy, especially CHOP, C-H-O-P, is a first-generation combination chemotherapy regimen used for low and intermediate grade non-Hodgkin's lymphomas. However, for different types of grades of non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, different types of drugs and drug combinations are also used. For example, for low-grade non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, chlorambucil, fludarabin, CHOP and R-CHOP, PMIT-SEBO and pmit sebom CVP and RCVP, FAT or FMD. For high-grade non-Hodgkin's lymphomas, ICE and RICE. For high-grade non-Hodgkin's lymphomas that has come back, DHAP and RDHAP, ESHAP and RESHAP. After treatments, there are some complications also occurring and one of the complications is spinal cord compression that occurs in up to 10% of which is often aggressive and may respond to high dose radiation therapy. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma has a relatively high survival rate. For example, if you look at the five-year relative survival rate in the U.S. by stage of diagnosis between the years 2003 and 2009, which also includes all races and both sexes, for the local tumor, the five-year relative survival was 81.5%. And when cancer has spread to the regional lymph node, the five-year survival rate was 72.5% and when cancer has metastasized, 60.9%. When we look at the data in the UK between the years of 2005 and 2009, we see that the five-year survival rate was 63.4%, 61.5% of men and 65.7% of women. So this was all for today. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope this was useful to you. If you like our videos, please like them and share them with others. And until next time, take care.